Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it in order to follow my work. In order to be able to follow my work. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 156. And today is our page 156. And today is our 55th day, 55th les lesson. The problem number problem number five is what we are looking at. I'm going to read the problem to you. Not verbatim, obviously. You have the book in front of you, I hope. We have a random variable, we have a random variable x, which we are told is normally distributed. So let's show a normal distribution first. Voila. So we have a no normally distributed uh, variable, they're calling it x. There is our median, our mode, our mean, whatever you want to call it. Because uh, in the case of normal distribution, all of those three values will be equal because it's symmetric. What else do we know? We know that the value, value of 650, we are told, occurs at 60th percentile. So let's show that here. 650 at 60th percentile, somewhere here. That's the 60th percentile. We are also told that the value of 850 happens at 90th percentile. So that part is given to us. The question simply is, the value of 850 occurs at 90th percentile, as we just showed here. The question simply is, these are the two things that we are asked to compare. The, here is our column A, where we are given the value, we are asked to compare the value of the value of the 50th, 75th rather not 50th, we are asked to compare the value of the 75th percentile versus 750 versus 750. Now had it been a symmetric distribution, had this been the distribution from from 650 to 850, had it been symmetric, I, I contemplated, I went back and forth, tried to figure out how to explain this problem here, because there is not really anything to do here. There's not much to do here in terms of solving you, showing you the mathematical solutions. They just want to see if you understand the concept of normal distribution. Had it been Uniformly distributed, I forget the word that I used a little while ago, two seconds ago, I don't know what, what word I used, but had it been uniformly distributed from 650 to 850, the shape of the curve would have looked like this. I'm going to draw this thing and then I'm going to erase it. This would have been the shape. Had all the, all the variables been uniformly distributed. But that is not the case. As you can see, when we draw our our 750 here, this is our 750, I meant to do it right in the middle, it did not come out like that. Where is our 750? Right in the middle. As you can clearly see, as you can clearly see that because of the fact that there is more area between 650 and 750, the area, I'm going to say it one more time, the area that lies under the curve, this is how we say it, the area that lies under the curve between 650 and 750, that area, as you can see here, is much larger than the area that lies between 750 and 850. And we're going to show that in a different color, right here. How should we show it? This area, as you can see, is much smaller. It's much smaller than the area that lies, the area that falls under the curve between 650 and 750. What that means is that more observation will fall between 650 and 750 than what you will see, than the number of observation that will fall between 750 and 850. Therefore, therefore, our 
70th percentile will not be smack in the middle. 70th percentile means 70% of the observation. Up to here, by the time you hit 650, we have already seen 60% of the observation, 50% of the observation now to the left of the curve here. Right here is our mode. These are the 50% to the left. This is another 10% from here to here. This is a 60th percentile, but this is not the 70th percentile. 70th percentile is going to fall somewhere to the left of 750. 70th percentile, where should we write it? I need to be writing this. Oh, so let me finish reading. Let me finish reading what I what I already written on the blackboard to save time. It says 78 percentile. Well, this is exactly what I just said actually a second ago. 78 percentile, therefore, is going to fall to the left of 750. Right here, as I showed here, to the left of 750, because of all the observation. I'm reading here in case in the event that you have trouble reading my handwriting. So one more time. The 75th percentile is going to fall to the left of 750. It's going to fall to the left of 750 because, because of all the observations, of all the observations that fall between, this is between, that's a lazy, man, that's, that's a lazy man's way of writing between, of all the observations that fall between 650 and 750, more than half will fall to the left of 750. To the left of 750. That's all it is. And therefore, and therefore, another way of saying the same thing is what I've been saying all along. Another way of saying the whole thing would be this this part that we show here. It's the same as saying that is, i.e., the area between 650. To 750, this area right here, the area between 650 and 750 is greater than the area that lies under the curve between 750 and 850. And therefore, Therefore, the 75th percent. Therefore, the 75th percentile is going to be less than 750. Therefore, the 75th percentile. Let's continue writing here. Therefore, the value of the 75th percentile. I need the room. I'm going to continue here. Therefore, the value of the 75th percentile is going to be less than 750. Less than 750. Here we have 750. This value of the 75th percentile is going to be less than 750. 750 is more. This is less than that. Therefore, the answer is B. The answer is B. I don't know what else to do here. I really don't know what, what else to do here, because as I said before, there isn't any mathematical solution that I can present to you. It's, it's just a matter of understanding the concept. I'm not going to repeat myself, uh, the, because I keep forgetting uh, that uh, if you want to listen to it again, you can always rewind the video. So I'm not going to keep repeating it like a parrot. If you have trouble understanding, just listen to it again. Okay? I, hope, I, hope, uh, I hope you got the gist of it. While we are at it, why not learn the word, the, while, uh, a, a, a good word. Uh, for the synonym of just that I just used, the word is nub. N U B nub. Nub means the gist of something, the essence of something, the core of something, the central idea of something. So I hope that I hope that you got the nub of the argument. So you, I hope that you got the nub of the idea. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, in addition to improving your math skill for the GRE or GMAT or SAT, whatever it is that you're preparing for. Although I don't know why you'll be watching this video if you're preparing for GMAT or, or SAT, but one never knows. Uh, day 11. Just type in vocabulary. Just type in vocabulary, day 11, and you will learn this word nub in my vocabulary videos that are also loaded on the YouTube to help you improve your vocabulary. I will see you tomorrow on day number 56 where we'll do the problem that you see at the very bottom of the page, the very last problem on page number 156. Alright? Thank you. Bye now.